Today is Shaonian, Little New Year. Shaonian is a kind of mini festival that happens about a week before Chinese New Year's Eve. Shaonian is celebrated on different days in North and South China. In the North, it's celebrated on the 23rd day of the last lunar month, whereas here in South China, it's celebrated on the 24th day. Shaonian marks the kind of official start of the Chinese New Year festive period. And traditionally, it's believed that on this day, the kitchen god would leave your home and go up to heaven to report on your behavior to the Jade Emperor. Depending on whether you've been good or bad in the previous year, the Jade Emperor will decide to give you good luck or bad luck in the year to come. Here in Fuzhou, there's a cool story associated with Xiaonian. Back in the Song Dynasty, there was a poor scholar named Zheng Xingzhe who lived in a house on Jibi Shang. He was so poor that when it came to Xiaonian, he couldn't even afford to buy anything to offer to the kitchen god. So he went to a local butcher to beg for a little pork, but the butcher had no sympathy for him at all. In fact, he was really mean to him and treated him pretty badly. So in the end, the only thing that he could give the kitchen god was a sugarcane leaf and a poem that he'd written for him. Well, it turned out that the kitchen god loved the sugarcane leaf and the poem and said good things about Zheng Xingzhe to the Jade Emperor. That new year, the Jade Emperor blessed Zheng Xingzhe and he became a high-ranking government official. He decided to use his newfound power to take revenge on all the people that had been mean to him when he was poor. Apparently, he even went and killed the butcher that refused to give him some pork for his offering. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't treat poor people badly, because one day they might become rich and powerful and kill you. One of the reasons why I like this festival is there's a lot of cool little Shaonian traditions that you're supposed to do on this day. Like you should buy some new clothes to get ready for the new year. And it's time to start cleaning your house so that you sweep away all the bad luck to make space for the good luck to come. Another interesting thing about Shaonian is it's traditionally a day for people to get a haircut. This is because in ancient times, it was believed that getting a haircut in the first month of the new year was bad luck. So Shaonian and the few days after it was the last time when it was safe to get your haircut. Well, my hair is getting a little bit long anyway, and seeing as it is Shaonian, I guess I should go get a haircut. Hey. Me hi. Hey. <laughs> okay. Around the front door of almost every Chinese home are couplets, strips of red paper with poems written on them in Chinese. These couplets are called Twenlian and they're changed every year. Xiaonian is traditionally the day to buy or make new couplets and put them around your door in time for the new year. Now today, you can buy couplets everywhere. They sell them in supermarkets, corner shops. There's even guys selling them on the side of the road. But I think that the best looking couplets are still the ones that are made in the traditional way, handwritten by a calligrapher. So I'm off to see Ling Lao Shi, a master calligrapher, to see if he can make me some nice couplets for the new year. <laughs> This 
are all far too complicated for me. My Chinese writing, I can just about do Zhong, Guo, uh, Da, stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to try and learn to write Chuan, as in Chuanjie. So it looks complicated to me, but Laosha says that it's not too hard, so I'll do my best. Okay. The main part of Xiaonian is making offerings to the kitchen god. The kitchen god is the most important of the various Chinese domestic deities. He protects health and the family, but he also has another job, which is to keep an eye on you throughout the year and report your behavior to the Jade Emperor. That's why people make offerings to him at Xiaonian, so they'll say nice things about them. It's kind of like a bribe. I'm off now to see the mum of one of my local friends, who's going to show me the correct way to make offerings to the kitchen god. Hey, <笑> 炸龍爪呀,也是炸豬爺他們愛吃的,炸豬爺永遠的酒。因為他是吃素的,我們就以水代酒。So this is the kitchen god and his wife, and these are the different foods that you need to offer to him. And it seems like he's got a bit of a sweet tooth because you can see that most of the things here are very sweet. Got water chestnuts, we have oranges, and then this whole bowl of biscuits and malt sugar. So what she's doing now is burning an effigy of the kitchen god to send him up to heaven. I've really had a lot of fun learning about and celebrating Xiaonian. I can't wait for Chinese New Year. Xinian Kuala!